Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel. I am a homeschooling mom to two boys, a kindergartner and a preschooler. And in today's episode, we will be reviewing Blossom and Roots Elementary Year One Science Curriculum, Wonders of the Earth and Sky. Let's dive on into this curriculum. This is for grades one to four, and it covers geology, weather, and seasons. And this is a hands-on secular-based science curriculum with 36 units in it. So it will cover an entire year of science for you if you do one unit a week. Now, I do not have a first through fourth grader as this curriculum is recommended for. I have my kindergartner and my preschooler, but this is such an adaptable curriculum. That is one of the major pros. You get to adapt every single lesson to how you want to teach your family. So for each lesson, it's broken up into an introduction to the topic, the big picture messages to focus on during the unit, any possible rabbit trails you might wanna go on. Then it has some specific recommendations. One of the recommendations is for the minimalists, another is for the book basket folks, and then another is for the visual learners. It has great book recommendations if you really wanna dive in and you're a very heavy literature-based family like we are, and for the visual learners, most of these videos were accessible from YouTube, if not all of them. And we were, and they were all very appropriate videos. We loved the Peekaboo Kids and the SciShow Kids. We loved all those videos. And my boys like ask for them even on non-science days. And then it also has a laboratory guide for each of the units. And the laboratory guide is also broken down into some specific areas. It has something typically for the outdoor learners, for the table lab crowd, and then for the crafts and projects families. This curriculum is so adaptable because you can pick and choose. You don't have to do anything in the lab section if you don't want to, or you can do everything. You don't have to read all the books, or you can just read all the books. Another feature of this curriculum is that you do not have to do the wonders in order. You can skip around from wonder to wonder to wonder any way, shape, or form that your child or you want to do. So if you want to be working on geology one week and then do tornadoes another week, that's fine. It, it doesn't go in a sequence. You can pick and choose and jump around. This curriculum also comes with a student journal. For each wonder, your child can make a picture of what that child thought most important in that wonder and then write a little blurb about what they think is most important. Or if you have a younger child, the, the parent can be the scribe as I was for my child. So that's an overview of this curriculum. Now, how did I use this curriculum? We basically did science on days that we didn't have co-op or we didn't have any other extracurricular activities. So basically three days a week, sometimes four days a week. And I would typically start um, a read aloud in the morning with one of the book recommendations. And then later on after our math and language arts were completed, we would do either a video if we had time or a science experiment if we had time. And since this curriculum is not scheduled for you, it is really up to you how long you wanna take with these uh, units. There are 36, so logically 36 weeks in a homeschool schedule, you, could, you should do one a week. That's just not how we did things around here. We basically went anywhere from one week up to three weeks for these units, just based on how, how many books we were, had that for that lesson and how many experiments we wanted to do. It was really, it was really just variable on each of the wonders. Now, who might this curriculum be perfect for? 
This curriculum is perfect for any families who are literature based or hands on science experimenters. This was absolutely fantastic. It was very rich in both those areas. This curriculum is also good for both secular families and dare I say faith based families. This curriculum is also perfect if you have a varying age range of children that you want to do science with as a family subject. This was this would be perfect for anywhere from preschool up until it says fourth grade, but I would even go fifth grade. So that age range, this would be perfect for if you want to do science as a family subject. Now, personally, I didn't have any major cons with this curriculum, but I will say that this curriculum would not be suited for people who like a really, uh, a curriculum that gives them a set schedule on this day you do this, this day you do this, this day you do this. That is not how this curriculum is. And also for, this would not be good for, it, it's not an open and go curriculum. So you have to do a little planning with the books and you have to do a little planning with the experiments. But that kind of goes with any like lab science. You have to do a little planning and that can be one of the major barriers to doing a very rich science curriculum. It's all the, the prep work that goes in, that is involved. And that's just part of learning science because science is so hands on. But if that's a barrier for you, then this would not be the best curriculum for you. But overall, those are my thoughts on this curriculum. We absolutely loved it. And we are gonna be continuing it for our next year. We loved it so much because we only got about three quarters of the way done with it. Well guys, I think that is all my thoughts on this fantastic curriculum. We loved this curriculum. I am so thankful that I stumbled across it in a YouTube video one day when I was trying to figure out what my son wanted to learn for his science when he was a kindergartner he said water and he was very adamant about water and i think i nailed it with this curriculum if your child loves water all things water like we nailed it with this one i thought this curriculum was fantastic fantastically written and the recommendations in the curriculum were stellar now I cannot speak for any of the other science curriculums from Blossom and Root. This is the, our only thing we've ever bought from, purchased from them. So do your research obviously before buying any other curriculum. I cannot make any of that recommendation. But this one was stellar. I absolutely loved it. Well, those are all my thoughts on this amazing curriculum from Blossom and Root. If you have any questions, I will be happy to answer them down in the comments below. Now, wherever you are, I hope you are having a fantastic day. Take care. Bye.